And it's Ken Kratzer at the United States Military Academy for Sons of the American Legion Radio at the Warrior Games. We're at the Saturday competition, uh, cycling this morning for uh, the athletes who are recovering from different types of injuries they incurred during their service, illnesses, and accidents and uh, having a great time. Uh, we have teams here from the U.S. Army, the U.S. Navy, the Air Force, the Marine Corps, the Special Operations Command, and also a team of about 35 athletes from the United Kingdom Armed Forces uh, who are participating in this. We just talked to a gentleman for, from an organization that sponsored the trip uh, called Help Our Heroes and explained how valuable and obviously a tremendous fellowship between the military of the United States and the United Kingdom. So uh, we had terrific opening ceremonies on Wednesday that uh, were hosted by actor, talk show host John Stewart, gave a very gracious speech. And uh, we were just talking with some of the athletes about how nice it was to march into uh, the Shea Track and Field Stadium here at West Point with the stands just filled with people cheering them on. Uh, several thousand there, and then uh, very nice opening uh, ceremonies, uh, which were uh, General uh, uh, Caslin, Robert Caslin, the superintendent of West Point, spoke at, and uh, also General Fred Franks, a uh, an injured uh, uh, veteran from Vietnam, and uh, just a terrific night. Uh, then we have the video of that on our page, Sons of the American Legion Radio and you can watch the entire ceremony. There's uh, going to be some wheelchair basketball today uh, uh, that we're going to watch, and then uh, some of the other events that they have, uh, sitting volleyball, which I have not seen before, looking forward to, and also uh, shooting, and they had track and field uh, yesterday. So this wraps up on Tuesday with some of the championships of ga games in volleyball and basketball, and then a terrific uh, uh, closing ceremony. Sounds like it's going to be a nice concert right here on the plane at Trophy Point at the U.S. Military Academy uh, late on Tuesday. So uh, a terrific event. This is all sponsored by the Department of Defense and uh, something that had been in uh, other locations, uh, uh, but uh, coming up to West Point certainly makes sense. Outstanding athletic facilities and uh, and uh, just uh, uh, the Army and the folks here at West Point have done a great job in uh, setting up all the preparation, making all of the guests uh, welcome. Uh, there is a sign uh, over one of the fields that says Beat Air Force, but um, uh, you take that in stride here at the U.S. Military Academy where there's uh, certainly the Army-Navy, Army-Air Force rivalry is so much of uh, the spirit building uh, you know, uh, in the competitions and athletics uh, for all of the uh, academies. But for the most importantly, it's a chance for the athletes to recover. Uh, athletics is such a, a good way for them to recover uh, from their injuries and uh, uh, the illnesses. I think there's some PTSD uh, recovering soldiers here. And uh, we see a number of service dogs, obviously a number of athletes in uh, wheelchairs. Uh, but they're all having a great time. And uh, uh, so it's uh, been a terrific event here, the Warrior Games, that'll uh, run through uh, Tuesday night. So watch for more on Sons of the American Legion Radio on Facebook and also on Twitter at Sons Legion Radio. So for Sons of the American Legion Radio at the United States Military Academy, this is Ken Kratzer.